What is going on guys? Gray for today. Let's talk about mods in Destiny 2 and how a lot of people in the community would like to see some options of different ways to be able to acquire mods uh, just throughout the game in general. I think a lot of players, uh, if you're like myself and you're just returning to the game, uh, the mod thing is of course something new and you're going to have to kind of you know figure out how to make a build. And I do like the idea because it makes it feel more like a uh, MMO style game or an RPG style game where you're actually building your character. Uh, but at the same time, they're kind of annoying to be able to get them because if you look within the mod list and, you know, and kind of see what mods you do or do not have and how to acquire them, a lot of them come from Ada 1. And if you check Ada every day, who does reset every day, she only sells two mods. And the majority of the time, as of late, it's been a lot of the same things over and over or a lot of things that some of us may already have. Uh, it, it's kind of a thing I think that Bungie needs to look at and kind of maybe go with some different ways to acquire these. Now, I don't necessarily think that you should be able to maybe get them all just as soon as you want within you know, maybe a month's time. But at the same time, either give Ada a little bit more of a, a larger stock pool daily, you know, maybe four mods instead of two. Some people have even suggested having a mod shop for one NPC within the tower uh, that just sells mods and you know, have, a, have, have a larger rotation daily. Um, now, of course, the one thing I think a lot of people, uh, if you are new to the game, you may not have realized yet, when the Witch Queen does release, and of course I had some buddies that play a lot to tell me this, and so it was some new information to me as well, once that Witch Queen DLC drops, and of course you know some of the other things that are leaving the game that I made a video about uh, you know, a few days ago talking about a lot of the stuff leaving the game, Fractured uh, Shore, you know, the, the Splicer stuff and all that stuff uh, within the last few seasons, once all that is gone, of course, those mods that come from those, you know, seasons as well, will then go to Ada One's kind of inventory. So that's going to make her pool even larger. So you may not see some of the mods you need for months at a time, which is kind of a bad thing, considering she only sells two at a time. Now we know B Banshee sells some mods as well. His rotation kind of swaps out daily. I think they maybe could add one more NPC to the kind of mix and give them two mods to sell, or just maybe go with, uh, you know, giving Ada one and of course Banshee a larger mod pool. And of course the idea of players talking about having a just mod store where just one of the characters sell several different mods a day would not be a bad idea either. I mean, you could even go as far as maybe having a mod store where they sell a lot of mods and it just rotates out once a week instead of, you know, a smaller mod pool that rotates out daily. Leave me a comment with your thoughts. What would you like to see? Uh, I know there's a lot of mods out there. There's a few that I'm still looking forward to trying to make some different builds that I'm trying to work with. And there's just those one or two that I have not been able to get yet because, because of course, they do come from Ada and she has not had them on offer as of today. Hopefully sometimes in the next couple weeks, I'll be able to find those mods that I need. But I, I do get why a lot of players out there are kind of frustrated with how long it takes to get some of these mods and how you have to acquire these mods. And Bungie has always been known for doing that. I mean, if you, I was a big fan of Destiny 1, played a lot of Destiny 2 when it first came out. Like I said, just kind of came back to playing again as of late. And they have always been a, a company that likes to kind of, you know, hang things there in front of you to know you got to kind of grind them out, which is perfectly fine. But at the same time, that mod rotation list is not exactly been the best in my opinion. Because a lot of times, like I said, it's just the same things day after day. So leave me a comment with your thoughts. Let me know what you would like to see in the game when it comes to the mod selection. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. Be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliates here on the channel, Empire Jerky and Amazon Associates. Also check out the merch store that is linked in the description as well. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.